fourth Republican presidential debates, both finished now, both substantive, both lively. I'm with Jerry Baker, moderator at the primetime debate. I was a moderator at the undercard debate. I thought it was really fascinating. There was a serious economic discussion, but then fights about the issues that divide Republicans, immigration chief among them, uh, along the way in an, in an economics debate. Yeah, immigration, foreign policy, they were the two big uh, dividing lines, with, you know, lines uh, along lines with which we're familiar. But I agree with you. I think it was a lively debate. I think they did, you know, several candidates clearly had to do a lot to move the needle for them. And I think they worked pretty hard at that. I think, you know, you put, saw, uh, I thought I thought you saw uh, Governor Kasich doing that a, a lot. I'm not sure yeah. how successful he was. You saw Carly Fiorina, I thought, was actually quite, uh, quite outspoken. I did think that Senator Cruz, Ted Cruz, was probably probably had the most effective interventions, and I think he was he probably came across, at least for the audience in the hall, uh, as perhaps the best debater tonight. Uh, conversely, I thought Ben Carson faded into the background a fair amount. Not his kind of you know, policy detailed con conversation, not necessarily his strong suit. I also thought it was interesting that Jeb Bush had a few moments, but then also faded away. It wasn't quite clear he made the, at least to me, that he made the breakthrough tonight that people were looking for. I think that's right, and I think I think you know Marco Rubio has been you know, has, has been one of the stars of these debates so far, and I think once again tonight he had a very solid, very impressive performance. Uh, actually, thought Donald Trump. Um, you know, there's a sort of you know every time Donald opens his mouth, there's kind of it either produces a cheer or a boo or a laugh or something like that, and it was true again tonight. But actually, he got his point across on a couple of these substantive issues: trade, uh, immigration, again, obviously, which are his big things, and that, that still plays with a section of the significantly plays with the section of the Republican base, and I think he can probably expect to, uh, you know, to his appeal to them tonight. And then, I thought surprisingly, Rand Paul decided to take a stand on spending money on defense, which is not necessarily the, make, the way you make progress in a Republican primary environment, but he seemed to go all in on it. He took he took on several of the other candidates, you know, starting, uh, you know, with uh, uh, Marco Rubio, yeah. about his willingness to spend money on defense. Brought everybody else to Marco Rubio's defense, almost, on the stage. So Rand Paul, been accused of being an isolation didn't do much in this debate, I think, to refute that charge. And I think that produced one of the most effective uh, responses when, when uh, I think Rubio said, to, uh, after, after Kasich had talked about, you know, you can't be a conservative and spend all this money on defense, and um, Kasich responded by saying something like, you know, America's defense, is, there's, not, there's, there's nothing more important than that. I don't know what you thought, though, Jerry, about... Um, you know about Rubio because Ru Rubio again has been the star of these debates. How did you? Did you? Think I thought he was very him? effective. I mean, the thing is that he moves in and gives uh, crisp, decisive answers on every subject. And maybe it's just performance art, but I think in the contrast to some of the other candidates is very striking when you're watching it on TV, which is the way obviously most people watch it. Um, you know, I don't think he did anything to hurt his standing tonight. And Governor Bush, I think everybody said before this debate. Bush has got to have a good night. You know, his numbers have been dropping. Uh, you know, he's shaken up his campaign. He's come out with a new message. He really had to come out tonight and make an impact. Do you think he did? I'm not sure he did. I mean, I thought there were a couple of moments. I thought he explained his tax policy effectively. I thought he defended the, his position on immigration for the first time in these debates effectively. But then he seemed to recede. And, and there were moments in which I thought John Kasich was stepping into the space that should have belonged to Jeff Bush. I agree. I, I thought in the first debate, the debate that you moderated, um, I think that was one pretty clear winner, which was yeah. Governor Christie. I think everybody yeah. kind of agrees with that. But from you know, you were moderating it. Was that your perspective? Absolutely, no, absolutely. And I, you know, I think he was he was annoyed by the fact that uh, for whatever reason, Bobby Jindal decided he was going to take on uh, Chris Christie as a big government Republican, which is not exactly that Chris Christie reputation. I think it was annoying to, to Chris Christie, but he did stand out in the crowd. I think that going forward, the question, uh, to me at least, the questions are: Does Chris Christie move as a result of that? Um, has Jeb Bush made the breakout that people were looking for? And has Ben Carson? hurt himself, does he fade away a little bit because he didn't sound as substantive as some of the others. Chris Christie clearly had the best line of the whole night when he said he was going to fly Air Force One over these disputed <laughs> islands right. in the South China Sea. And I don't know about you, but it brought to mind suddenly the vision of the closing scene of uh, Dr. Strangelove, where, he, where, where, where the guy sits on the, sits on the missile waving his hat. So I, I look forward to seeing that. But yeah, I think that's right. I think we'll see whether Christie gets promoted. Uh, for, you know, into, into that front line, we'll see. I mean, do you think anybody drops out after this, by the way? I don't, I don't see any of these people having an incentive to drop out right now. I've thought that for a while. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, they didn't, none of them sounded like people who are going away. I mean, maybe some of them should, but I don't think they're going to. What's the next, what happens next then? What's, I mean, there's another debate in there's just a, over a month. There's a pause before the next debate. I think what happens is we find out if Chris Christie's really moving in New Hampshire, if Jeb Bush can move in New Hampshire, and we find out whether there's been a Ben Carson fate in Iowa. And the, you know, we're back to discussing Iowa and New Hampshire again, as we do every four years at this time. So, Anyway, interesting night in Milwaukee. Glad you could join us.